Hi guys, welcome to another Dibby theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and we're designing techtips.com. Before we go to green one for you today, we're going to show you how to add a login to the menu at the top of your page. When people click on it, it's going to open up a custom login page where you can enter your details and get to your dashboard that way. Much more interesting looking than the default login. Really easy to do. Let me take you through it. Okay, so here we have our site. If we look up at the top here, we've got a menu right on the end there. I've got a login link. When I click on that login, it's going to take us to this custom login page. Put in your credentials and hit the login button. And it takes us to our dashboard there. And if we visit the site, We've still got our login credentials there, but once we're actually logged in, it'll tell us that we're already logged in if we click on that one. Really easy to do, so let's get started. Right, the first thing we want to do is create the actual custom login page that we want. So I'm going to add a new page here. Call it what you want to call it. I'll just call it user login. And we'll use a DB Builder. Now you can put as much or as little information on this page as you want to. I'm going to go ahead and build from scratch. Like I say, you can make this really complex if you want to with lots of things on there. Well, I'm simply going to have my logo and a login. So I'm going to select a single column. I'm going to put an image module in there. And let's perhaps pop my light colored logo in. There it is right there. I'll leave that just like it is. Let's add a new module. I'm going to adjust that in a minute. And we'll use an actual login module for this. That's great. What you can do if you want to shrink this down a little bit is you can actually put this in three columns and put it in the middle column if you want to shrink it down a bit. For instance, if I go back into the row, we'll go to the row structure right here. Make it into three columns. You can see it shrinks it down like that. I kind of like that. We could have done that with a bit of code. Let's move our logo over to the middle. And we'll also pull our form over here. Don't think I really want much detail there other than log into your account or something like that. So let's go in there. And we'll say log in to your account. And I'm going to get rid of that text underneath. Very simple, just like that. Okay, I'm going to save that now. And let's make this page a little more interesting by perhaps putting a gradient and an image in the background. So I'm going to go into the section itself, the blue tab. Background, I'm going to pop a gradient in there. I think I'll have it a blue on the top. I'm just clicking on the stops here. And a black on the bottom. I think that's what I used before. That's fine. But I want this section to be full screen for sure. And to make sure it's going to be full screen on all devices, I'm going to go into my design here. I'm going to go to sizing, height, I'm going to put 100, VH for viewable height. So whatever screen they're looking at it on, it's going to be 100% of the viewable height, which is great. And I just want to push the contents down a little bit, so still in the section, we can close up sizing. And we'll go into spacing, and I'm going to give it 20 VH padding on the top. Obviously, adjust yours to taste. That's going to work for me. Great. Well, I'll just say, while we're in the section, great, while we're in the section, I'm going to go back to the content and background. I'm going to put a little image in there and merge it with our background gradient. So I'm going to go to the third tab to image. I'm going to add a background image. I think that's the one I used before. That'll work fine. 
And I'm still on the image tab. I'm going to roll down a bit. Background image blend. I'm going to blend it with that gradient. I'm going to multiply it. So it mixes it with that gradient there. Makes everything stand out nicely. Well, let's just quickly customize our little form here. I think I might shrink that logo down slightly as well. So we can save our section here. Let's first go into the actual logo itself. So I want to make that a little bit shorter. So in design, I'm going to go to sizing. I'm going to give it a width of perhaps 200 pixels, PX, 200 PX. That's okay. It wants to be in the middle at all times. Great. And we'll go into the actual form itself. First thing I want to do is take away that background. That's great. If we look just up above, we've got a redirect right here. I want to make sure that redirect is set to no. That way, when they put their credentials in, it'll take them straight to the dashboard. Okay, let's pop over to our design. And in the fields, I'm going to have no background color there. I'm going to make the fields text color white. And I don't want to focus background color. And the field focus text color is also going to be white. I'm going to leave everything pretty much just as it is there. But I do want to add a border to the fields. It's a fields border width. I'm going to make it two pixels. I'm going to make it white in color, a bit like the button down below. Perfect. Obviously, you style yours however you want. Just to finish this off, I'm going to put a little border all the way around this just to frame it. So if we roll down a little bit more, we've got border down here. Again, I'm going to select all four sides. Going to give it two pixels and we'll make it white in color too. Great. That's pretty much all I want to do to mine. Like I said earlier, you can go to town, you can style yours any way you want. Great. Well, let's save this. We need to publish this page. So I'm going to hit my little purple button and I'm going to hit the publish. Well, let's create our menu item now. I know I've got one up there, but we'll have to do a new one for this one. Okay, well, we've created everything we need to create here. Let's actually add this to our menu. Now, this is just like any other menu. You're going to have to go down to your dashboard, appearance, and menus, and we'll just add the page, the actual menu structure, and then just edit the title of what we want to have it say in the menu there. Really easy to do, nothing to it. Let's get back to it. To do that, we need to go to our dashboard. I've got two instances of it up there, so let's get rid of one. Go down to this one. I'm going to go down to appearance and go, go down to menus. Here's the menu that I've got at the top there. There's my original login. Let's get rid of that one and I'll show you how to add this to your menu. Going to remove that one. Great. Let's just save that menu. And if we look under our pages here, if it's not visible to you, it might be collapsed like that. Just hit the little chevron at the side here. There's a new page that we created. It's called user login. I'm going to add it to the menu. But I only want it to say login. So I'm going to hit the little arrow where it says navigation label. I'm going to get rid of the user there. Great. Okay, well, let's save this now. And if we go back to our site, we'll exit the Visual Builder here. It's telling us we're logged in. So let's go back to the home page and we'll log out. Okay, well, we're logged out of our site here, as you can see. We've got our new login up in the menu here. So if a user comes to your site and they need to log in or you need to log in, you can hit the login. It's taking us to our page here. We can fill out the credentials to log in and hit the login in our little custom login page here. And there we have it, it's taking us to the dashboard there. Perfect, 
is what we wanted. That's great. Okay, so there we have it. There's a little custom login page and we've added the menu login link up there. Really easy to do, as you can see, and great little feature. So much better than just having the generic login page. Now, whether it's you logging in or whether it's your customers coming back to your shop and logging into their accounts, it's a great little feature, really easy to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, or ring the bell, comment, because it's always great to hear from you. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and share. And I do mean comment. Those comments down below are really important to me. That's usually where I get my ideas for making new videos for you. Hopefully that are going to help you out later on down the road. If you've enjoyed this today, have a look over here in a second. Our Divi menu effects playlist should pop up. There's lots of different menu things on there that you may enjoy. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.